Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for dropping by. Today, it is Saturday, the 10th of April. It's afternoon, around, I don't know, 2 p.m.-ish, maybe a bit after that. And I have come down to the Empire just to see the very, very last bit of the demolition and some of the clear up. I did do a lot of filming yesterday and then I did get really cold and really tired and my memory cards was practically full, the batteries were almost worn out etc so I just decided to go home and edit and upload and recharge but I have come down today to show you the rest. Juliet was filming this morning. Caroline was probably as well so if you want to catch the last bit of this demolition that you won't catch on my channel feel free to go to theirs and check them out but as you can see now look, it's all done we've just got a plethora of bricks and rubble and wood there is going to be a massive big clear up when we left yesterday there was just that end couple of feet but now look it has gone there's that last wall there i am going to go across this road and go a little bit further down here because i think if i do that i will get a better angle stand with my back to the sun I'll just change my angle of where i'm standing that telegraph post is right in the wrong place think anyone would mind if I just went and chopped it down. I am kidding by the way, of course I'm kidding. So that one there, we've got all that scaffolding now that's running all the way around that last wall. I would think that would probably have to be taken down by hand. They have to take part of the joist down by hand and they also took part of the ambassador down by hand because when I was filming at the ambassador the little bit of the wall that was conjoined with the Rutland they were pulling bricks out by hand and cutting some bricks in half by handheld saws and stuff like that so because there is a property attached to it, they can't just yank it all down with that gigantic nudgy dinosaur digger thing. So I'm just going to pan slowly over the whole site and you guys can just stay and watch for a while if you want I mean I know all demolition is going to be like exciting wrecking balls and ginormous walls tumbling down I mean that stuff is fun to watch but I think the other stuff is fun to watch as well because it's going to be Blackpool history because it's part of town that's going through big changes and I do know that some people might laugh look at this nowadays and think well there's nothing big happening there that's kind of boring but if youtube and my channel is still around in 10 20 30 years or whatever somebody could be watching this and be like whoa look at that that's really cool that's why i'm glad there's so many of us making these videos now because now more than ever we've got so much of this footage that we're all archiving together and the way we go, if one person films something and somebody else misses it, you can think that somebody else will get it later on. So at least one of us will get to film everything. It's funny, I was looking back the other night at some of my old videos and 
things I filmed like when they were knocking down Arnold's school on the road or when I filmed when they were knocking down Palatine school on St Anne's Road and stuff like that I'm like wow that seems like years ago but it really wasn't that long ago but it does, does seem like years and years ago it's like I'm really glad I filmed when they were pulling up the old tram tracks on Talbot Road because I've got videos when there's like ginormous piles of tarmac in the middle of the road and just massive piles and long rails of the old original tram lines that have just been pulled up my only wish is I wish I would have done commentary on those earlier videos but when I first started my channel I was so shy it was like I was just the thought of doing commentary as well as filming just filled me with anxiety so and that is why most of my earlier videos well all of my earlier videos don't have any commentary I was just too darn nervous and terrified to do it it took a lot for me just to take that plunge and think go on you can do it just try it out believe in yourself and adding the commentary has definitely got easier over the last couple of years or so and I think it's made my videos better and I am working on making them better and making the channel better and more successful it is growing but super duper slowly I'm gaining a few extra subs a day so it's a very very slow climb but at least it's organic and happening there's a digger there I believe that digger is called Deborah Digger so she's a girl digger because of course yeah that is Deborah Digger pushing all the wood and the recycling bits in the skit I would imagine most of this stuff will be recycled yes I really think they're going to be taking that last wall down by hand there's a dude up there on the second platform of the scaffolding it appears to be having a look So he's taking a look at that wall and he's going to work out probably the best way to take it down so I'm going to stay here film for another couple of minutes and then we'll have a nice clear up video for the day although you probably won't get to see this video till tomorrow because I've still got some of yesterday's footage but I need to edit and upload it's all, all going to take me a while because that is what takes the time folks when you're a YouTuber and I'm sure whatever kind of YouTuber you are if you're a local vlogger like I am or if you're I don't know, a gaming YouTuber or a cooking food YouTuber or a beauty makeup YouTuber, whatever kind of YouTube you do, I'm sure you'll all agree that the editing is what takes the time. Filming is the fun easy bit. It's when you get home and you've got to transfer all the stuff in your memory card onto your PC and then you've got to put it all into your editing program and wait for it all to load up. Well, I do like doing it, it just does take a long time. Well guys, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of look at the last bit of the Empire building today. I am going to have one more pan across but I'll zoom in first a little bit yeah he's pulling a few bricks down 
and now we've got the former site there, just a rubble now, and you can see all the windows of these houses that they'll have a view now of Horse Side Lane, albeit probably a temporary view, because I'm sure they will put something else there. But yeah, they'll be getting a bit more sunlight and view and sounds of traffic. So that is it for today from here. I'm going to say goodbye now. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please hit the like button and please subscribe. Maybe even drop me a comment and say hi. Or come on to Twitter and have a chat at like29. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.